You know I had to get this concealer, right? <laughs> I love Charlotte Tilbury base products. They are some of my absolute favorites on the market, and she recently came out with a brand new concealer. I have it right here. The Charlotte Tilbury Retoucher Concealer is one of my favorite concealers of all time. It is kind of a light to medium coverage concealer. It's really dewy and fresh and hydrating. And when I saw she was coming out with this one, I got so excited and I knew I had to pick it up. I went on there the morning of the launch day and I bought it and I've been so excited to film this video for you guys. It's kind of annoying that they sent this giant box for this one tiny concealer, but that is okay. I'm sure they were just rushing to get the orders out. You guys, this is the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Radiant Concealer. It offers clinically proven results, conceals, corrects, brightens, lifts the look of skin. It's a medium buildable coverage with 16 hour wear. I'm actually trying out a foundation right now that also claims to have 16 hour wear. So if these two products both last for 16 hours, that is some wonderful base makeup. <laughs> So she's calling this a shapewear for the eyes. Charlotte's marketing, you guys, is something else. <laughs> I'm gonna read you some claims. What makes it magic? In one hour, skin feels two times more hydrated. 90% agree, skin looks instantly brighter. 96% agree, the product has a soft focus smoothing effect. Skin looks awakened, visibly reduces the look of dark circles. Sweat proof, humidity proof, waterproof, 16 hour wear. It has niacinamide, golden vitamin C, hyaluronic acid, low peptide, vegan collagen, jojoba, sunflower, and mimosa floral waxes, camellia oil, soft focusing silica. It's rich in emollients and it has natural mica based pearls which impart a light diffusing effect for radiant second skin finish. A lot of these ingredients are things that I love. I love vitamin C. I love hyaluronic acid. I love peptides. I love camellia oil. It's one of the main ingredients in magic cream and I love Charlotte Tilbury magic cream. So I'm so excited to give this a go. So this feels really nice right out of the package. The uh, packaging feels like glass, which feels really luxurious, which is wonderful. It's got this cute little doe foot applicator on it. It's not too big, not too small. Like it's got a nice little bend in it. So I'm excited to see how that feels on the face. So I ended up getting this in shade number five. I was gonna go with a lighter color, but I did the color match thing on the website and it chose this one for me. The description also sounded like it would work for me. So five medium, I don't know, feels a bit like it might be too dark, but we'll see. I like to use my concealer both under my eyes and to spot conceal on my face. I don't like to go too bright, but I do like kind of a brightening effect under the eye as well. So we'll see how it goes. Shall we just go right in? I'm excited. Okay, let's go right in. I'm gonna start with um, just a little bit. I don't wanna use too much. It doesn't apply a ton of product onto the face, which is nice. Um, I think that's good for like the everyday user to prevent them from using too much because I feel like a lot of people, especially in my generation, use too much concealer. And then I'm just going to go around, wow, there's hardly any on the applicator. Also, I haven't watched anyone else's review videos about this yet. I wanted to go into it with like fresh eyes, so I have no idea what people are saying about this yet. I'm just going to go ahead here and use it to spot conceal like I normally would as well. And then I'm gonna use my beauty blender to go right ahead and blend that in. The color is good, the color works. It's not too dark for underneath my eyes, which is nice. The consistency is so different than I was expecting. I really thought it was going to be closer to the consistency of the retoucher, which is so like liquidy and lightweight. This is definitely more creamy and like thicker than I was expecting. So it blended in underneath my eyes quite easily. How did we do with covering up the darkness, do we think? There's definitely still some in there, but I don't really go for a super full coverage concealer these days. I feel like they can look a little heavy under the eyes, so I don't mind that a little bit of that is showing through. I actually feel like it's done a really nice job of covering. I have a lot of darkness around my eyes, so it's pretty tough for it to be like completely gone. Now I'm going to just buff in these little areas where I put down for spot concealing. It blends really easily. 
It really just blends right in. It looks really, really, really good on my pimples, my texture. Wow, that's nice. Okay, there we go. Wow, wow. Oh my gosh, look. Wow. I feel like that did such an incredible job of just getting rid of the darkness. It's reflecting light so beautifully. My eyes just look so nice and light and bright. Wow. I'm really, I'm really happy with that. So for anybody who's new here or anybody wondering if you are going to like similar products to what I like, some of my favorite foundations ever are the Charlotte Tilbury Retoucher Concealer like I just mentioned. I really love, like my number one favorite concealer right now is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Self Setting Concealer. I love this. I also really like for like a super full coverage concealer, the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. That concealer is incredible. It's just like very thick and so you need like a very small amount but it gives such nice coverage i would say in terms of consistency this is the most similar to the makeup forever ultra hd something that i really like about this one is how thin it is but how much coverage you get out of it and i would say that this is really similar like hardly any product comes off on the wand and so you're really not applying much product but the coverage that i got with such a small amount of product i feel like is wonderful 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 so i am so so impressed right off the bat i also feel like they did such a good job with the color matching from the internet wow okay i'm going to now set it because i always set my concealer i almost always oh okay i almost always use the charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless finish powder to set my concealer if I'm using a loose powder, I'll go in with the Hourglass, but I almost always use this one. However, it's just crumbled and broken all over me. Hardly had any left. Luckily, I have a backup, so let me grab that real quick. It was sitting right in front of me the whole time. So let me open this up. It's been a few minutes now since I've been like out rummaging, trying to find my fresh powder. And my concealer underneath my eyes has not even creased a little tiny bit so that's really nice however i do always set my under eye concealer no matter what so i'm gonna go in with my fresh powder oh my god there is nothing better than going into a fresh powder wow and i will set that concealer and voila there it is set with a little bit of powder what do you guys think i'm really really impressed i feel like i really like it so far so one of the claims was it makes your under eyes look really hydrated within an hour. So it's 320 right now. Let me come back at 420 and we'll do a little check in. We'll see how hydrated things are looking and then we'll do some updates throughout the day. Okay, friends. So it is 420 on the dot. I wanted to just check in about this like hydration claim of the concealer. I'm not going to lie. I was quite skeptical. <laughs> Um, but I would definitely say that my under eyes look very <laughs> hydrated at the moment. Don't you think? Especially since I powdered them, which, you know, is going to really take a lot of the moisture out of the area. I feel like they do look really nice and like fresh and kind of dewy. Maybe I should look up. Maybe that's better than looking down. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and agree with that claim my under eyes do look more hydrated after one hour. So interesting. I love this like skincare infused makeup thing that Charlotte Tilbury has done. She's literally been doing this since the beginning, but she's really like pushing it in her advertising now. And uh, yeah, it's I think one of the reasons why I love her base products so much. But so far so good. I wouldn't say there's any excessive creasing or anything happening. I put on the Charlotte Tilbury Full Fat Lashes Mascara today, which is not waterproof, not a tubing mascara. So I'm curious to see if the hydratingness of the concealer causes my mascara to transfer more than it normally does. So far, I'm not noticing that happening, but I will keep you updated. And uh, I'll check in with you guys at the end of the night. Hello. It is... 10 after 11 so the concealer has been on for almost eight hours does anybody really wear their makeup for 16 hours i don't know but i don't and uh eight hours is kind of the most i feel like i can ask for from a base product anyways 
and I'm ready to go to bed. I've actually spent the last couple of hours just editing this video and I had a few things that I noticed from editing that I wanted to say. So the first thing that I wanted to say is that this is the beautiful skin radiant concealer from Charlotte Tilbury and so this is part of her beautiful skin line which started with her beautiful skin foundation so I have a full review on that foundation I'll link that in the description box for you guys if you want to check it out but spoiler alert I didn't really love it and of her foundations it was kind of bottom of the barrel for me and I actually ended up giving it away like I just I don't know it did not last very long on me I didn't like the texture of it I didn't like the way that it made my skin look it just wasn't really for me so I was kind of wondering and like curious about how this concealer would be from the same line if I would feel the same way about it the other thing that I noticed while editing is that I feel like after I powered Powdered my under eyes they looked a lot darker than they did before I powdered them and so I feel like part of the magic of this concealer is that it is really light reflecting and when you powder it's going to take away the reflectiveness and so it's not going to cover as much this is just a theory but charlotte actually came out with a brightening version of the airbrush flawless finishing powder this is something that i've been waiting for for so long and i actually saw that that was coming out before i saw that the concealer was coming out and when i bought the concealer i didn't realize that she launched that brightening powder at the same time so i'm actually really curious to try out this concealer with that powder you guys know like i'm obsessed with the flawless finishing powder and I, I have like just been asking for a lighter one or a brightening version for years and years so I'm definitely gonna pick that up and try it with this concealer as well make sure you're subscribed and you're watching my vlogs if you want to see the update on that but yeah I did want to just say that I feel like um, in person and before I put on the powder my under eyes looked a lot brighter okay um, I'm just repeating myself at this point so the creasing under my eyes is so minimal you guys after eight hours of wear i feel like it just looks still so fresh under there like as if the concealer was just recently applied more so on this side on this side i do have a little bit of my mascara smudging which i was wondering if that would happen especially with all the humidity in the air the rain that i was in today i feel like it's pretty understandable that my mascara would smudge a little bit but I'm sure that the skincare ingredients and like the dewiness of the concealer isn't helping with that I would probably just use my Merit tubing mascara on days where I use this concealer and that problem would go away completely um, I am really impressed with this I actually really like it I'm curious to try it again adding more product underneath my eyes I used such a small amount I'm wondering how it would like be if I used more if I could get more coverage out of it it's definitely not a full coverage but I feel like that's kind of what most people are looking for these days usually on like a day-to-day -day basis when I'm doing my makeup I'm doing a tinted moisturizer and then going in with concealer under my eyes and to cover up any imperfections on my skin and I feel like this is going to work so well for that so I'm definitely going to be trying that next again make sure you're subscribed and watching the vlogs if you want to see me try it out like that but overall I'd say I'm really happy with it I do recommend it first impressions are always hard it's hard to say for sure like where it falls in my list of like favorite concealers or least favorite concealers like it takes time to try out products to really like form a full opinion on it but just off first impressions I'm really happy with it and yeah I'm definitely going to be keeping it so thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you got something out of it. I thought it was so fun and I'm so excited to try out a new Charlotte Tilbury base product. You can subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos from me and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.